I think it's no secret. I don't think, I don't, I have been very open in the concerns I have had uh, with the way the party is being managed. We're trying to make strides in a direction that will uh, hopefully bring us to a place where we don't have to have these discussions publicly. Um, but it's all is still not well. We are making an effort. Um, there was certainly a commitment at the last National Party Council meeting that avenues and opportunities would be made available for members of this party and elected officials and appointed officials of this party to be heard. I think that's a step in the right direction. There was a commitment by the NPC that the constitution of the party would be adhered to and respected. And in cases where there is ambiguity or there is differences in interpretation of what that provision of the constitution says that we would seek clarity from the legal advisor, I think that's a step in the right direction. Um, there was also uh, a commitment that they to abide by the decisions of the NPC. I think that's a step in the right direction. The NPC, as you know, is the highest making decision body, uh, making body of the party outside of the National Convention. I am tentative, I will agree, but I am prepared to give this process a chance, just as I was prepared to give the process of sitting down with Patrick and the party leader, for three of us to sit down to ventilate our concerns, I was prepared to give that a chance. I am prepared to give the NPC decision a chance. It doesn't mean though that if I feel that my voice is not being heard internally or if I'm, I, I feel like we are straying away from the commitments that we had made at that NPC that I won't say anything. You know, we are given the right by the Constitution of Police to freedom of expression and I don't think anyone should be silenced.